Just like when you're living in sticks and bricks, sometimes your wants and your needs change. And as you can see, so have ours. <laughs> yep. Got a new to us Jayco Precept 34B, and we think we're going to love it. If you haven't done so already, go back and watch last week's video that will go through our issues, our problems, our wants, our needs based on our lifestyle change. So check that out. We'll link it up above and down in the description below. And that will help you understand better why we felt it was time to make this change. So I think it's time to show them around the new rig. So come on in and let me show you around. One of the ways this rig solved our problems is that I have lots of counter space. I have more space to prep and prepare meals, which will be wonderful. And look at this space. We can actually walk past each other here without tripping. Come on down here to the refrigerator. The refrigerator is a double sided. We have lots of space in here, all the space we need. And this is a really cool thing. Look here in the freezer. I have an ice maker. I'll never have to load an ice tray again. At least I hope not. But if I do, I will. Also, one of our wants, the bigger refrigerator was at the top of our list for, uh, for a must-haves. Another one was the theater seating. We did not get the theater seating. However, we love this sofa. It is really cool. It's got plenty of space for the both of us to sit on without actually sitting on top of each other. And I'm going to show you something else it does. If we have company come in, this right here pulls out. This pops up and it gives us a lot more space. We don't keep it open when it's just the two of us because we like the extra space here. So next on our list was a fireplace. And we actually accomplished that. Which we, we're kind of the people that say, if we have a heat source that's not running off propane, we're already paying for electric in the campground, why not use the electric instead of the propane? It just kind of makes sense. Come on back this way. So another one of our must-haves that I was absolutely not willing to compromise on is a washer and dryer. What we've ended up with is a combo unit. And I know combo units have taken a bad rep in the past, but let me tell you, I've already done a load of wall laundry. I did not have any trouble at all. The clothes came out super clean and they dried. That's the problem I've heard is that they will not dry in this unit. Got a secret to that I'll share with you sometime later, but no problems at all with my clothes drying, so it was super cool. And last, but absolutely not least, is our king size bed. This was a must because it's me, Danny, Alvin, Sadie, and Bella sleeping in the bed. So it gets a little crowded when you have a regular size bed in an RV. Get off her. Yeah, you get a little wrestling in the middle of the night too sometimes. The, the one thing we do not like about our new RV is this mattress. Yep, we've slept on it for a couple of nights. Tried to sleep for a couple of nights. There was very little sleeping. Right, it's an RV manufacturer's mm -hmm. mattress which is thin. We've even put on a topper and yeah. it's still not Memory helped Memory foam on it and it's just horrible. Now, we, our RV is used. We didn't, did not, we chose not to buy new. So it is used and it's just the worst mattress I have ever slept on in my life. Yeah, it's, it's rough to sleep on. It's got dips and divots and um, it's the, like I said, the one thing we don't like about it. Yeah, I have woke up both mornings that we've slept on this mattress with an aching back and w woken up like a hundred times through the night because it's just so uncomfortable. Right. Yeah, Jayco makes a great rig. They've done some great things, but one thing they're not good at is mattresses. Without a doubt. So, we need an upgrade to an upgrade. We think we found a solution. And today's video is sponsored by Brooklyn Bedding. Let's get rid of this. You're in trouble. You tore the tag off under penalty of law. This tag should not be removed. I might have to report you.
Yeah, go for it. It's here! No more sleeping on our terrible mattress! <laughs> Yay! Now this feels good already, I can tell we're going to have a good night's sleep tonight. So RVMattress.com is a Brooklyn bedding brand known for the top of the line quality and comfort in mattresses. Great news is, is that RVMattress.com Brooklyn bedding mattresses are made in Arizona right here in the United States. Plus, you get free shipping to anywhere in the United States. Also, they have a 120 night sleep trial, so you get to try the mattress out for 120 nights before you have to make a decision on it. Yeah, and that's over three months of sleeping on a mattress. And if it's not the right one for you, you can send it back and get your full refund. Also, the mattress comes with a 10 year warranty. Yep, it just gives you that peace of mind. Something good that we learn from Brooklyn Bedding is that they offer different firmness, heights, and dimensions. Our RV bed is not just a standard size, so we had to give them our specific specifications for this bed. So they have a lot of different setups that you can choose for your mattress. We chose the RV King Signature Hybrid Medium Firmness. Yep, and we got that Glacio Tex cooling topper. And let me tell you, this cooling pad, just by touching it, you can feel a difference. It's cool to the touch, feels great. Lynn and I both sleep kind of hot, so we feel like this is gonna be a the icing on top of the cake. So as we said earlier, the only thing that we totally hated in this new rig was our mattress. And we had a couple of friends that had the Brooklyn Bedding mattresses and they highly, highly recommended them. And so that's how we ended up with this. Now, RVMattress.com can work on a non-traditional size mattress for you that will fit your rig and your lifestyle. Brooklyn Bedding offers different firmness, heights, and dimensions, and they make their mattresses specific for your RV because even though this is a king-size bed, it's not a standard king-size bed. So you have to have one made that will fit your RV. So what we're going to do now that we have given you some information on the mattress itself is we're going to sleep on this mattress tonight and then let you know what we think in the morning. Hopefully we'll get a good night's sleep tonight because we sure did, sure did not happen last night. And then we'll give you an update tomorrow morning. And after that, we're going to sleep on this mattress for the next two to three months and then give you another update. So we have spent four nights on this mattress so far. And the conclusion is, we, we love, love it. it. It has been wonderful, so much better than our old one. Um, I don't see us changing our mind, I will tell you. <laughs> it has been some good sleep. So uh, Lynn and I are both side sleepers and we mm -hmm. tend to get hot throughout the night. And what I liked is that RVmattress.com walked us through to find the right mattress for us. It took us through what kind of firmness we needed. Very it, helpful people. It took us through uh, whether you slept on your back, your side, or your stomach. 
and it even asked if you slept hot. Yeah. So we ended up with a signature hybrid of uh, medium firmness with the cooling top on it, which I really do think helps makes us helps to make it a little bit cooler as we're sleeping. Yeah, we mm -hmm. both felt like we could tell a difference. Yeah, we're hot natured people. And I think it doesn't help that we have two cats and the dog in the bed with us because Bella sleeps either beside us or between us and on our feet and the other ones do the same thing and so it just makes it hot. Yeah, and I think Maybe it's... we're not so hot natured people. Maybe it's the animals in the bed that's making us hot. So one of the things I love about our new mattress is now I can sleep and my shoulder no longer hurts. Yeah. I think it's a very comfortable mattress and I like that it's not as hot. Right. And it's comfortable. I mean like your shoulders don't hurt and it fits us a lot. And one of the other things I like it was it just so easy to order online. Mm -hmm. It walked you through the process, determine what kind of mattress uh, firmness you needed, what size, and it really made it pretty easy. So I was worried about that at first, but it was yeah. it was a breeze. We'd never ordered a mattress online before, so. But it, it really was easy. Yeah. So we do want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. And if you're needing a new mattress for your RV, go to rvmattress.com forward slash RV America. And if you want 20% off, use the code RV America. And that will get you a discount. Now let's get back to showing you the rig. So one of the things that we weren't looking for that we actually ended up with is a larger shower. This is so much larger than our other one was. Also, we weren't looking for this. This wasn't on our list, but the bathroom is a lot larger than the last one that we had. And I have so much counter space here. If I have something I need to sit there or just, you know, doing hair, makeup, all that stuff, the girl needs her space. We weren't looking for this particular item, but we feel like we're blessed in the fact that we have a auto start generator. Our old generator did not have auto start. And what that does, one of the features that it has is that it, it will start based on a temperature that you set for it. Perfect for taking care of pets if the electricity ever goes out. Again, we just love the space that we have in this one that we were missing in, in our Class C. This just is, it's more like home instead of just something to travel in. As you can see, my storage problem has been solved. But now you know how we solved our issues for our new stage of life, retirement, where we are currently on the road eight, nine months out of the year. Yeah. And what we need from you is leave a comment down below. Did we make the right choice? Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.